Welcome to my course. In this session, we will learn about the basic object-oriented concept that is encapsulation. What is encapsulation and what does the encapsulation means and how we can in achieve encapsulation. In this course, we are going to learn about this. So, to achieve the concept encapsulation in Java and in other object-oriented programming languages, you have to implement two things. One is single unit, another is data hiding. So, if you can ensure single unit and data hiding in your code, then you have done encapsulation in your code. So, let's first start what is single unit. Encapsulation ca came from the word capsule. In the capsule, there are many medicines and all the medicines are wrapped by a capsule, right? So, in encapsulation, there are, in, in our code, to implement the in, uh, encapsulation, uh, there are different variables and methods in the class. These variables or methods are just like the medicine inside the capsule and the class works like the capsule which is the outer side of the capsule. So, if you can declare a class with variables and methods, then you have implemented the single unit concept of encapsulation. But remember, there are some conditions. That is, the condition is that here I have a student class and here I have an admin class. So in the admin class, I need the CGP of student class. In the admin class, I need to check whether the student will get waiver based on student's CGPA. So CGPA is the variable of different class which is in the student class. So what we have done here, we have passed the object of student class as a parameter. If we do not do that and what we do, if we declare the student class over here in the admin class, then what will happen? If we do that, if we do that, then there will be a problem. If we do this code, there will be a problem. This admin class is not encapsulated. Why? You can say there is a variable, there is method inside the class. So, as we have learned earlier, if we in a class there is data member, that is variable and method, we can declare the class as an encapsulated class. But remember, if a class have variable and methods, that doesn't mean the class is encapsulated. The class will be encapsulated if the class has proper and relevant information of that object. For an example, this is an admin class. In admin class, the variables and methods of this admin class will be the properties of the admin object. Look over here. Here student object is the, here the student object is another object and the, uh, the student object has different, the student object have variables and method of student class. So, the admin class is not working a single unit over here. Single unit means all the information of that class will be available over here. All the information of admin like admin's ID, admin's name, admin's salary, admin's activity will be existed in admin class. No other information of different class, different class from admin class should be present here. That means you should not write any other variables from different class over here. You should not write double CGP over here because CGP is not an attribute of admin. It is an attribute of student class. If you do so, this class will not be called as an encapsulated class or this will not work as a single unit. So to implement the single unit concept, you have to 
declare the variables and methods in the class which variables and methods are relevant to that class and object. That is the single unit part. Another part of encapsulation is data hiding. Data hiding can be achieved by using different access modifier of Java. So different access modifiers of Java is private access modifier, protected access modifier, defaulted access, default access modifier and public access modifier. What does that mean? Suppose the student variable, sorry the student class, in the student class if I declare the string id as a private then this private variable ca, private variable id cannot be accessed outside of this student class no one will be able to access the id suppose here if i try from different class if i try to access students id there will be an error in the class there will be an error and the error is ID is private access in student. So this ID is private. Private variable cannot be accessed outside from the class. So whenever you are putting an access modifier over a variable and method, at that time what you are doing, you are hiding your data from another classes. Here the private variable ID is being hided from other classes like admin. So whenever you are not putting any access modifier, that access modif that variable is called default access modifier. Default access modifier. Default access modifier. Default the variable which is set as default access modifier, that variable can only be accessed in the package. So the name of my package is demo example. So in this demo example, anywhere I anywhere from any project, any package, and for from any class, I can access this to this string name variable. Okay, if I write name instead of ID, I will be able to get the I will be able to get the name variable. So here the name is string that is why the that is why the error is being showing suppose if i if i declare the variable like double sgpa then there will be no error double sgpa then there will be no error that means default variable can be used from anywhere in the package public package sorry public variable can be used from inside this package and outside from this package so public variable can be used inside this package and outside of this package and protected variables can only be accessed protected variables can only be accessed in the package inside the package and outside of the package if if that class is inherited by the class which is which has the protected variable so there should be a relation so without relation protected variable cannot be used outside of the class so if we put private protected public and default access modifiers in our variables and methods we by doing this we are setting different type of accessibility accessibilities in our variables and methods by doing by doing this we are hiding our variables and methods from different classes these classes will be developed by different other developers so other de developers will not be able to see my private variables so the developers who are working outside of my package will not be able to see my default access modifier variables. Okay. So the reason of doing this is to protect our data from 
outside access so that no developer can change the value of our variables without my permission. Whenever I am putting private variable, no variable, no developer or no other one, no other, no other class will be access, will be able to access the private variable ID. If we want, if we want to uh, make the private variable ID accessible to others, what we can do, we can write a get method. With a get method, with a get method, the get method will be public. So this public get method will return the value of ID. So whenever any any anyone outside of my class of my student class wants to know the value of id what he, what he will do he will call my get id method this get id method will return the value of the id so private variable are not private variables are not accessible outside of the class name of this student class so in if anyone wants to know the value of id so i will write a get method for if anyone wants to re, wants to know the value of the id so get method only returns the value of the private variable if anyone wants to set wants to change the value of the private variable for that reason we can we will be able to write a public method we will be able to write a public method which will set ID. Previously we did get ID that returns the value of ID. Now we will write a set ID method. In this method the ID will be set. With the set ID method anyone will anyone outside from my from my project sorry anyone outside from my student class will be able to change the value of ID with set id method and with get id method anyone will be able to know the value of id so why we are doing set id and get id method we are doing set id and get id method so that for any need anyone can access the value of id if you think that i do not want to write anyone to access my id variable no one should able to change the value of id variable then you should not write set id method then you will only write get id method with get id method you will able to know the value of id so if there is some there are some requirements in your project that in in that requirement you are you are bound to you are uh, bound to set the accessibility of your private variable where the other users will be able to change the value of private variable in that case you will write set id method so if you can do this for two points that are that are single unit and data hiding if you can implement this two concept single unit and data hiding in your code then you are successful in implementing encapsulation in your code thank you for this session see you in the next se se session